Hi, my name is Michael White and I'm a doctor of physical therapy. We'll be reviewing exercises that are performed in chairs. Typically we recommend these exercises for seniors to help keep the body moving, keep their mobility, keep their flexibility, and also to help develop muscle strength. It's recommended that you perform it in the chair just to prevent any falls as well. An exercise that is designed to warm up your neck prior to getting things moving is very simple. All you're going to try and do is bring your right ear down to your right shoulder. While during that process, you want to try to extend your opposite hand. You're going to feel a stretch in the upper part of your back and your neck. And then come back up to center. You're going to repeat that exercise two to five repetitions, holding for anywhere from 15 to 45 seconds, depending on how well you can tolerate the stretch. An exercise that is designed to get the shoulder muscles activated involves taking your fingertips, putting them on the shoulders, and then attempting to rotate your elbows forward. It should be formed in about a one to two second duration of the circle, and you want to complete about 15 repetitions forward, and then 15 repetitions backwards. An exercise designed to improve the strength in the upper part of your arms or the biceps is a bicep curl. Simply just take a resistance band and start with the exercise by placing the band underneath your feet, supporting the band, and then grabbing the band so your hands are even. I'm going to start about six inches away from the edge of the band, keeping my elbows down by my side. I'm going to bend my elbows up to my shoulders and then back down. Typically performing the repetitions in about a one to two second count on the way up and then one to two second count on the way back down. For less resistance, you can try a less resistant band or move your hands closer to the edge of the resistance band itself. Typically, you will complete this exercise in repetitions of 10 with 3 sets. Today, the seated row will be initially presented without weights. You will start with your feet fully supported, your elbows slightly bent, your thumbs pointed towards the sky. And all you want to imagine is bringing your arms forward and then squeezing your shoulder blades together, keeping your thumbs towards the sky. If you feel that this exercise doesn't have enough resistance, Simply take your resistance band, find the center point, place it underneath your feet and have your feet fully supported, flat on the ground. Again, thumbs pointed towards the skies, your elbows slightly bent, and row and squeeze your shoulder blades together. You're going to want to keep your elbows tight to your body. You want to repeat this exercise 10 reps with 3 sets. Shoulder rolls are performed while sitting at the edge of the chair with your feet fully supported. You want to imagine bringing your shoulders up towards your ears, rolling them folder, forward, and then coming back and around. As if you were trying to draw circles with your shoulders. You're going to want to complete this exercise 10 repetitions and then eventually completing 20 total. After 20, go the opposite direction as the original exercise. These exercises are designed to engage the muscles of your shoulder and the upper part of your back. Toe taps are an exercise that are designed to improve ankle range of motion but also ankle strength as if you were trying to clear your foot during walking. Simply start with your feet fully supported on the ground, knees at about 90 degrees as I am here. All you're going to try and do is pull your toes towards the ceiling and then bring them back down. Repeating this exercise for a total of 10 reps with 3 sets or a total of 30. A variation of this exercise involves moving forward, straightening your legs, allowing your toes to have more range of motion, and then pulling up and then pushing back down. As if you're a ballerina or on and off the gas pedal. Again, repeating this exercise for reps of 10 for a total of 30 and 3 sets. Knee lifts, or marches in the chair, are designed to improve strength in your hip flexors and also your rectus femoris, 
Rectus femoris is a muscle of your quads, which is one of the largest muscle groups within your legs. Simply start by lifting your right knee up towards your chest and then slowly lowering back down and alternating to the left. If you feel that this exercise is too simple, you can try to sustain and hold at the top for a count of three to five seconds as tolerated. Once you've graduated, you can grab an ankle weight. Place the ankle weight up and around for additional resistance, lifting the leg up, holding, and then lowering back down again. You want to complete these exercises for about 10 reps for a total of 30 within three sets. Tummy twists are designed to help strengthen the muscles of the core, which include your internal and external oblique and also rectus. You're going to start by sitting with your knees at 90 degrees, your feet completely flat. Bring your shoulders up to 90 with your elbows bent also at 90, trying to maintain this position. Simply start by rotating to the left as far as you can throughout the range of motion, trying to tighten your core as if you were drawing your belly button towards the center of your spine. And then go to the opposite side. You can repeat this exercise to each side for a total of 30 reps. These exercises are designed to improve core strength for posture control. Captain's chair is an exercise that's specifically targeting the lower core muscles. You're going to want to make sure you're sitting in a nice sturdy chair. Start by placing your hands on the edge of the chair. Tighten your tummy as if you were drawing your belly button towards your spine. And then attempt to lift both knees up at the same time. Initially, if you can only lift the heels up, that's okay. But try to progress to lifting the feet completely off the ground. You're going to want to complete these exercises in reps of 10 for a total of 30. This again will target the lower muscles of your abdominals to help improve posture control. Seated jumping jacks involve movement of your arm, but prior to the exercise you're going to want to sit up nice and tall, slightly move forward in the chair, start with your arms down by your sides, raising your arms up over your head and then coming back down again to the side. You can initially start slow for maybe a count of two to three, and then eventually increase the speed to a more dynamic, fast-paced range of motion. You're gonna to wanna to complete that exercise in reps of 20 for a total of 60 or with three sets. Skater switch is an exercise that is designed to target the core, the lower and upper extremities. Simply start with your feet fully supported, sliding forward just a touch in the chair. You will initially wanna begin raising your right heel off the ground, extending your left knee off so your foot comes off and then your toe is pointed. Your arms will start straight out in front of you. We're gonna start demonstrating with the left arm first. Bring your left arm down towards your foot and then come forward. Again, I will demonstrate now what the right arm will do. You will bring your right arm and reach back towards the sky and then repeat and come back to center. In order to do the exercise the opposite direction, simply change the position. Start with your left heel off the ground, extend your right knee with your toes pointed towards the wall or away from you, starting with your arm straight out in front, taking your right arm reaching down towards your left foot, and then coming back to center. With the left arm, you will then reach backwards and then come back to center, all while maintaining the positions of your legs. This exercise should be formed in reps of 10 for a total of 30, typically performed in three sets. Chair running is an exercise that's designed to improve cardiovascular endurance, but also lower extremity strength. Simply start with your feet fully supported, slide forward just a touch in the chair, and then extend both legs off the ground. You might need to use your hands for support during this process. And imagine you were just riding a bike, starting with your left leg coming up and then your right leg coming up. 
and then rotating with a circle. Typically you'll complete 30 repetitions on each side before taking a break. Sometimes you'll have to break up the exercise if you get short of breath or if your legs get tired. Seated pedaling is an exercise with very, very low resistance that's designed to improve cardiovascular endurance. However, it does involve using a pedaler as you can see positioned here on the floor. It's important to note that you're gonna to wanna to make sure to use a nice firm chair that doesn't have wheels that's very stable. Or you could potentially use a couch or a recliner as long as your feet have the capability of reaching the pedals. This pedaler comes with the ability to adjust with a turn knob in between your feet to add or take away resistance. It also comes with features for adjustable feet. Simply start by placing your foot into the pedal on both sides. And then just initiate pedaling forward. There's a timer with also a calorie and a distance count on this machine. Typically we recommend patients start with 15 minutes to start or as tolerated. And if I felt like there wasn't enough resistance, I could just reach down, turn the dial clockwise, and then add more resistance. Seated tap dance is an exercise that's designed to improve ankle range of motion and also strength. Initially starting, moving forward in the chair with your feet completely flat. Extend one leg as I did with the left leg. This will remain extended throughout the entire exercise. Start by tapping your heel towards the ground and then your toe, and then your heel, and then your toe. It's important to note that my knee does not bend as it does in this knee. Repeating for three to five minutes. After that three to five minutes, you will then switch and perform on the opposite leg. An exercise that we can perform to improve lower trunk mobility and upper trunk mobility while sitting in a chair is simply just the forward flexion. I'm gonna start by moving forward, spreading my legs, and simply reach down towards the ground, feeling the stretch, coming back up. You're gonna to wanna to relax during this process to make sure you feel the full stretch. You'll repeat this exercise approximately three times to get the maximum amount of stretch. You wanna make sure you don't have any acute pain or radiating pain during this process. An exercise that we can complete while sitting that's designed to improve the lower extremity functional mobility and also your flexibility is what's called knee to chest. I'm gonna demonstrate on the left-hand side to start. Simply scoot forward sitting nice and tall and secure. Simply grab your knee, pulling it up towards your chest so you feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes, which are the muscles on the back of your leg, and then return back to the starting position, and then complete on the opposite side. You want to complete each side 10 reps for a total of 30. Ankle circles are an exercise that can be performed while in sitting. I'm gonna demonstrate on my left hand side. I'm simply gonna sit straight up, lift my foot up off the ground, imagine my big toe is like a pencil, and I'm gonna rotate around the clock, clockwise, for 10 repetitions. And then once I complete those, I will then perform counterclockwise. You wanna try and maintain a big amount of range of motion to really improve the flexibility of your ankles. You'll do that for about a total of 30 repetitions.